Arthur Tricks the Tooth Fairy by Mark Brown, read by me. Arthur ran to the breakfast table. Look, D.W., he said. Arthur waved a dollar. The Tooth Fairy left it under my pillow. Why? asked D.W. She takes baby teeth and leaves money, Arthur said. That's goofy, said D.W., what does she do with all those old teeth? Arthur thought. Maybe her castle is made of teeth, he said. Where does she get the money? asked D.W. You ask too many questions, said Arthur. The next morning, D.W. ran to the breakfast table. My tooth is loose, she shouted. It is not, Arthur said. It is too, said D.W. Nope, you're too young to lose teeth, said Arthur. Not fair, said D.W. When Arthur got home from school, the house was very noisy. Slam, 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 went D.W.'s door. What are you doing, shouted Arthur. Pulling out my loose tooth, said D.W. Oh, no, stop it, said Arthur. Your tooth is not loose. That night, D.W. said, I have a toothache. My tooth needs to be pulled out. Mom, she's making it up said Arthur. I am not, said D.W. It really hurts. If it still hurts tomorrow, we'll visit the dentist on our way to the museum, said their mother. The next day they went to the dentist. D.W. jumped into his chair. Your teeth are perfect, said the dentist. I don't think the tooth fairy will visit you for a year or two. See, I told you, said Arthur. No one believes me cried D.W. D.W. dragged her feet all the way to the museum. Everywhere she looked, she saw teeth. Dinosaur teeth. Shark teeth. Tiger teeth. D.W. could not stop thinking about teeth. At the museum shop, their mother said, You could each buy one little thing. Arthur looked at everything, but D.W. knew just what she wanted. I'm going to buy a shark's tooth she said. I have a great idea. That night, D.W. couldn't wait to go to bed. I'll tell you a secret, Arthur, if you promise not to tell Mom and Dad, said D.W. Promise, said Arthur. Tooth fairy's coming tonight. I'm going to trick her with my shark's tooth, said D.W. It's really going to work. I sure hope so, said Arthur, because I'm getting tired of hearing about teeth. That night, D.W. dreamed about the tooth fairy. And that night, Arthur decided that the Tooth Fairy needed a little help. Before the sun was up, D.W. ran into Arthur's room. Look, look what the Tooth Fairy left me, she shouted. Arthur opened his eyes. I tricked the Tooth Fairy, I tricked the Tooth Fairy, sang D.W. I did it, I really did. And tonight, I'm going to do it again, shouted D.W. The End